Hey guys, welcome back to the layout. So today I've got something pretty different for you. Uh, I've never done one before. I'm actually going to be doing an HO scale review. Uh, I'm going to be trying to do a couple more um, as time goes by. Chris uh, Go Viera Go Home has made this small module that uh, we can kind of do some reviews on and uh, point out some things. So I thought, hey, I want to do all of my locomotives because in my unboxing for them, I'm always like, yeah, I'm going to put them on the track, I'm going to do a quick review, um, blah, 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 and uh, I never do. So uh, I wanted to get this done. Uh, today, we're going to be doing uh, the review on my Bachman Alco S2. We're going to see that in just a second. Uh, I'm actually going to mention this again at the end of the video, but uh, I want you guys to give me some feedback because this is my first review. Uh, I've watched a couple and I've tried to point out things that I found useful or, you know, questions that I had I tried to answer during the review. Um, so, you know, I, I'm trying to get as much information as possible. But I haven't done a review, so I would really appreciate it if you guys gave me uh, your feedback, what I did right, what I did not so right, you know, what I did wrong, uh, things I should change, that sort of thing. So I mentioned everything in more detail at the end of the video. Um, so let's go ahead, uh, let me get behind the camera, set up the module, and let's take a look at my Bachman Alco S2. Okay guys, so here we have my Bachman Alco Montreal Locomotive Works. Uh, S2. It uh, it cost me eighty three ninety nine a couple months ago from Otter Valley Railroad Trains uh, OVRTrains.com, and uh, I've had some Bachmans before, and uh, wasn't quite sure what to expect because the Bachman I had before was the GP thirty five um, DCC built in. And uh, it was actually not really that good. But I thought, okay, I did my research, looked at some reviews. Um, it went up against the Atlas S2 and S4s. Um, but a lot of people said, hey, you know what, give these a try. So I did. And I'm actually extremely impressed. Um, you, you certainly get what you pay for in some cases. But uh, I'm very impressed for what I paid. And uh, I will be putting sound in this very shortly. But we'll go through over some of the prototypical details in a little bit uh, a little backstory so like I said uh, about 84 bucks a couple months ago um, basically Alco uh, built these between 1940 and 1950 and uh, about well not about but a thousand five hundred and two of them were produced um, they came with a thousand horsepower and that was powered by Alco's 539 turbo charged six cylinder diesel engine. Uh, the S4s came out shortly during and after uh, the production of the S2s. The only big difference being the trucks. So that's some backstory now. When I. Sorry, got to find my picture. <laughs> uh, when I bought this, like I said, I had owned a Bachman previous, and I wasn't quite sure what to expect. I had done the reviews, and uh, when I when I got this and I did the unboxing, I was extremely impressed, and I couldn't wait to get it down here on the layout. Now, I got it down here, and I must say, it is incredible. I mean, just DC. The thing is so smooth and so slow. Uh, it's just geared so well at slow speeds that I'm so, so impressed. Now, I think that it could weigh a little more. Um, there's not a lot of room in there, and I have yet to actually take off the shell. So, I'm not quite sure. I have a, a small iPhone speaker I'm going to put in, uh, and I need to buy the uh, DCC board. But uh, as for adding more weight, I doubt that's a possibility at this point. Um, I it, it's pretty good. It'll pull you know five, six, seven cars. Uh, but I do have small grades uh, going from roadbed, and uh, the odd time it does slip. I mean, realistically, these only had a thousand horsepower, so um, you know that's not a ton when you put it up against you know my C four two fours or. Um, you know, even my RS3, and that's just due to his age. You know, it's it's just it's old. 
1950, you know, and that's that's fine. My railroad is set in 1976, so uh, I'm okay with, you know, saying only a couple cars at once, no problem. Um, let's see if we can uh, zoom out here and compare it to a prototype picture. Now, I'm just gonna, can I stand this up? Oh, that will work, cool, okay. So, there is the prototype picture taken on July 30th, 1983. Now, I know that's not perfect. I know that's uh, a couple years after my railroad is set. Uh, but basically, just to compare things, it looks pretty good. Uh, you can see the fans, obviously, in the right place. Now, in that case, you've got the black, and on the model itself, it does not. I'm going to just get a little pointer here so you don't have my big finger. Um, up here looks about correct. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have any camera and other camera angles. I'm just going to zoom in just a little more. There we go. Um, smokestack looks good. Uh, it has pretty good detail. Again, you get what you pay for. It's not going to be perfect. For 84 bucks. I'm extremely impressed. These handrails, a uh, little flimsy. Nothing I wouldn't expect. Now, I haven't broken any. This one has actually come undone. Um, I will be able to flip that right back into its spot. I might uh, get a little dab of glue. But uh, for now, you know, I, I find pretty much any of the models. It, their handrails, they're... They're only held on by so much so you know I, I hear a lot of people complaining and I mean to each their own of course but for me uh, that small stuff really doesn't bother me I'm gonna put it back in there but if it falls out again you know what I'll put it back in again uh, kind of moving forward the horn is in the correct place which is really nice um, you know the multi mark here is also looks to about scale being just cut off by this window and uh, I'm not sure if the camera you'll see, but uh, the back window is slightly larger, which um, is is the case in the model. Now, I don't know if the model is perfectly to scale with that, but it looks pretty good. Now, we are missing some grab irons, and uh, I knew that would be the case, so I actually bought a pack of grab irons to add separately, so that's not a big deal. Um, you know we we have this small uh, details here the number board is in the correct spots um, you can see we've got the number board here and the painted on numbers there um, very impressed I'm going to go ahead it's now it's the same on the other side um, I just wanted to line this up so that the picture if we kind of gently lay this across and we kind of zoom in it's not level but uh, we'll do the best we can here so oop, a little too much I guess looking at the front it's not uh, it's not perfect you're obviously missing all of your air hoses brake uh, brake hose uh, stuff like that you've got the coupler whisker here though so I guess uh, that's a good comes with uh, kind of the better quality knuckle couplers with the actual spring not the ones that spread apart I don't know which ones which so I can't tell you which name this is uh, you have the nice door uh, outline and uh, some rivets up to the headlight and to the number board I'm not sure if that's gonna show up on the camera it looks like it may barely there, if I zoom in, you can see the rivets, if it'll focus. Yeah, there we go. That's nice. The uh, light is fairly bright to the point where I'm decently impressed uh, with it. I likely won't bother changing it with an LED. So you've got some more handrails here, and uh, you've got this thing. Now, I'm not quite sure what the name is, but it actually moves properly, which is really cool. Um, I, I like that, and that's actually... Uh, a wire that's not just plastic like the handrail so that's very impressive uh, you've got the steps down that look really great and let's just turn this around now the back um, one thing I, I'm slightly bi biased about is I love the way that the, the the white and black stripes look on back of CP switchers 
I just think that they are the coolest looking thing. So um, I, I, I love it. I just, I love the way this looks. It's very similar detail. You've got the same handrails, whatnot. Um, handrails coming up, attaching to where the door is, even a small step in there, and uh, a ledge under the window. And you've got a second number board, or uh, I guess a single number board on the back there. Um, all in all, if, if I had to rate this, I would say performance so far on DC, I would say it's like, it's got to be like a 9 out of 10, 10 out of 10. I, you know what, I think it's going to have to be uh, a 9 out of 10, minusing that one uh, point simply for not weighing enough. Uh, it The slow speed performance is just incredible, and we'll put it on the track here in a minute, and... Uh, We'll, we'll show you that because I am so, so impressed with that. Um, but I would say performance is a 9 out of 10. Visuals, um, I would say maybe maybe a 6, 7. Um, it's certainly not bad looking, but I think that, you know, uh, they, they missed a couple details. I'm not so much on prototype. Uh, I understand that, you know, you make a mold and... Uh, you, you can't simply detail it specifically for the prototype, but um, I, I think that it could be a better. But again, you're talking about an $84 uh, DC locomotive, and when you look at that, I would say it's perfectly acceptable. I would buy, I would buy another one. I would recommend this to uh, to anybody, to be honest. Um, give them a chance. I mean, it's 80 bucks. Uh, for U.S., it's going to be less, you know, so really, I, I would I would definitely uh, suggest trying them if you're in the market for one, uh, you know, if it, if you get a chance to uh, to get one from Atlas, go for it. I'm sure they're, they're a little better, but I wasn't able to get the action red scheme with the Multimark uh, default from the factory. Uh, from Atlas, which is why I gave this a shot. So let's go ahead and uh, get the track wired up and check out how the slow speed performance is. Okay, guys, so here we have the uh, S2 only layout. Uh, because it's still DC, you can hear that buzz. Uh, at least I hope you can. Um, if not, don't worry about it. It's just because it's DC on a DCC layout. As I apply power, you will notice that the frequency will go lower and uh, it will change. Now, because it's on DC, it's it's not going to be like DCC. I can't just pop it into uh, speed step one and it will move. With this, I do have to put it into four uh, and and then go back to three to get the slowest speed step possible. Now, I guess that means what I will say is pending DCC installation, I will give this the nine out of 10 because that typically could be fixed when I put DCC in it. Uh, but for now, it, I, I would say it loses at one point for lack of weight but uh, 9 out of 10 still. Okay, so I'm going to immediately pop it up to 1. The frequency changes lower. Again, I'm not sure if you can hear it over the furnace. Um, 2, 3, and then 4 is when it's going to start to move. Nice and smooth. Now I can actually... Oh, actually, that's still 3. So sometimes you have to pop it into four and then back to three sometimes just into three but you can see it's awfully smooth i'm just gonna hit reverse here both headlights are always on again because it's dc so you can see three is having some some problems struggling if i put it into four it's still extremely slow but extremely extremely smooth very happy just going back and forth here um so that's four now, obviously, due to the gearing, if I were to really open this up, it would not go terribly fast compared to other locomotives. But realistically, I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I never 100% my locomotives. Um, so, that is absolutely no issue whatsoever. Um, anyways, let's go ahead and stop it. 
Um, I'm very happy with this locomotive. I'm extremely excited to put the DCC in it. And um, I'm just going to turn this off. Uh, extremely excited to put DCC and sound in it. Uh, I love it as my little yard locomotive. Um, it's able to handle everything I've thrown at it with uh, minimal, minimal problems. It, uh, very happy with it. Like I said, I, I would recommend give it a chance. Um, in my case, like I said, Atlas didn't come factory painted in the action red with the multi-mark and that's my scene <laughs> so I thought hey why not it's 80 bucks and I love it I'm, I'm really happy with it so um, check out I'm probably gonna try to binge do these tonight at least but I, I may take a while before I actually release them so I do have another Bachman locomotive that I've bought in. that is the RS3 that I will be doing a review on shortly and then my other Alco C424s by Atlas. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, I, I'm going to ask that you guys give me any feedback you have. I've never done a review before. Uh, I tried to get some background info. Um, you know, any info I paid or uh, any info I could think of. I tried to point out any of the things that I thought may be useful. If you have any criticism, comments, questions, um, or just overall feedback. If you think I did really good, please let me know. Um, because I, I think what I'm going to do is I'll actually post this video and maybe what I'll do is I'll actually wait because if there's something I missed, then A, I'll redo the video, but B, uh, I'll know in, before doing the three other locomotives and then having to redo everything. That way I can uh, get, you know, your guys' responses on this and uh and move forward with my reviews so please uh let me know what i did right what i missed if i missed anything what i did bad uh stuff like that please let me know in the comments um like i said comments criticisms questions uh down below if you like this video found it informationally awesome helpful that kind of stuff please don't forget to like the video thumbs up it uh, and if you're not and you want to be and you're interested in obsessions rail fan in the layout you know layout updates reviews stuff like that please subscribe um, that would be awesome you get to see all my cool videos um, that's basically it so thank you guys for watching so so much and until next time enjoy your bacon